Hello, ESM family. It's good to be with you. We're going to worship. We're going to have chapel this week. I know it's kind of weird. I think I can talk for all the teachers when we say we miss being with you each day. And the kind of interesting thing about worship is, yes, we want to be together. We want to be in the same room. And that's really important. And it's going to be hard today doing a chapel and not hearing you answer questions and knowing that you're a part of what what we're doing, but I trust that you're going to be giving me answers. And the nice thing is, you're at home by yourself, you don't even have to raise your hand if you want to give an answer. But the cool thing is, is that even when we're together, we're still worshiping with all the other Christians in the whole world, all the other believers who know God and worship God, and all the saints that are in heaven worship God. So together we worship with them anyway. Today we're just worshiping with all of us in that same way, in spirit and in truth. So today, our chapel is, we are the family of God, so let's put God first. So we're going to begin with our invocation, and I am going to read the leader part, and you're going to say the congregational part, but I'm just going to leave it quiet there while you speak, because that's your turn to speak, your turn to be involved, and uh, we're going to begin now with our words of invocation. We begin in the name of God, our Father. We begin in the name of God, the Son, our brother. We begin in the name of God, the Holy Spirit. We're going to sing a song that we sing here at Getz Road. And uh, those of you from Union Street, I don't think it will take long if you don't know it. But it's an echo song, and so I'm going to sing my part. Then, just like our responsive reading, you get to sing your part. I'm not going to sing it because I want you to sing it at home. And we are going to sing that this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it together. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. All right, now when we do it, we switch. So you guys now are gonna lead it off and then I'll echo. We'll see how it works. You ready? Here we go. All right. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it together. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let's continue with our responsive reading. Rejoice always. Give thanks in all circumstances. In Christ Jesus, Today I'd like to read to you uh, a verse from Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, and it goes like this. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. But will it fit? That's my question. Now I want you to remember, we are the family of God. We're talking about seeking his kingdom and putting God first. And we're going to talk about what that kind of looks like during the day. So in this little... Uh, Um, project, we have some yellow golf balls, all right? And these yellow golf balls are going to represent our relationship with God and the things that are important for us to do as children of God, as the father of our family. What's important? Well, the first thing that's important we know is his word and spending time in God's word. It's one of his means of grace. It's how he gets into us. It's how the Holy Spirit enters our hearts 
It's how we are strengthened each and every day. And it's important to read your Bible every day. And it's also important to make sure that you get it done. And sometimes if we're not careful, we don't get it done. One of them will represent prayer. Talking to God is so important. Don't forget, even Jesus got up in the morning. Jesus went out to pray. Jesus went on the mountain. Jesus went to the garden. Jesus knew that his relationship with his father was so important that he needed to talk with his father. We need to talk with our father. And especially in these times where it can be kind of scary, we want to know that we are connecting our hearts and our minds with our father as his children. And this one for me, I'm just going to use it to represent singing and praising and honoring God and taking that walk when we can and saying, man, God, that grass looks so green. Thank you. Lord, those trees with those buds are so pretty. You have created this beautiful creation for us. And so we're going to remember that all day long. We want to think about him and praise him. And this rice is going to represent, that's a lot of rice, all the other stuff we got to do in the day. We got all kinds of stuff to do in the day. Don't forget when we're done, maybe you have some homework to do, some home-based remote learning. You have eating to do, playing to do, all those things that we want to do during the day. But here's kind of what can happen if we're not careful. I'm going to pour all the things we need to do in a day into our jar. This jar that I'm pouring in represents our day, okay? And trying to fit everything in that we need to fit in. And maybe you've seen this before, but it's still kind of cool how this shows us. That if we take care of all the other things we need to take care of, we're doing all the other things that might be important to get done. I got to eat. Let me tell you, I'm going to eat. But here's what can happen. Whoops, too much, but that's okay. If we get all those things done in our day, and then we say, oh yeah, I got to pray. Oh yeah, I got to read. Oh yeah, I got to praise him. And we have a problem. It just doesn't really work. And you know what? If you wait till the end of the day to pray, that's awesome. And if you fall asleep while you're praying to God, I think that's so cool. But if that's all you do and you don't spend time praying, worshiping and honoring him, the day doesn't work right. It doesn't fit all together. But if we take out all those things we have to do, and we get rid of them for a minute, and we get up in the morning, and we take time to pray, thank him for the day, honor him, ask him to forgive us, ask him to bless our day and be with us and our family, pray to him to heal the world, to bring corona to an end so that we can all be back together. Read something from your Bible. Maybe it's your memory work. If you have some memory work that you're working on, that's part of your Bible work. That's part of getting God's word into your heart. And then spend that day praying, praising, honoring throughout the day. It doesn't have to be formal. You don't have to bow your head. You don't have to do anything super formal. Just say to him, God, thank you. Or, Lord, i got to work on this math problem. Can you help me? And then the cool thing is that when we add in the rest of our day and all the things that we know we have to get done and the things we want to do and the eating and the worst and the all the things that we have to do we're going to find that if we work it through our day comes together and it works really well and the cool thing is what have we built our day on god our father god the son god the holy spirit we have built our day on putting God first. And then you know what? It fits. So one of the hugely important things that happens in our lives that isn't necessarily something that happens each day, but it is something we want to remember each day. And we do that at chapel when we have baptism birthdays. And this is a huge reminder of who God is in our life, that he is our God who loves us. We just worshiped for Easter, his son who died for us. And baptism, when the Holy Spirit enters us and gives us 
uh, a clean heart and we become baptized children of the family and he gives us power to say that Jesus is Lord. So we are going to take a moment now to um, remember all of the kids in um, March, April, and May who were baptized. And we want to say that we are happy that you have a baptism birthday and we're going to um, sing and pray for you. And then we want to remember all the kids who have regular birthdays who we won't get a chance to sing to in chapel either. So right now, if you would pray with me and then we're going to sing a quick song. Heavenly Father, we thank you for being our Father and for sending your Son to earth. And for Holy Spirit, we thank you for filling our hearts with a clean heart in our baptisms. So for each and every one of us who have baptism birthdays this last part of the year, we lift them up and we thank you that they are our brothers and sisters baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So we sing at this campus. I was baptized, so I'm going to sing it. You sing with me. And those of you at the other campus, I don't know if that's what you sing, but I bet it's familiar to you. So let's go ahead and sing. I was baptized, happy day. All my sins were washed away. God looked down on me and smiled. I became his own dear child. And for all of you who will be celebrating birthdays for the rest of this school year, God's blessings to you, God's blessings to you, God's blessings, brothers and sisters, God's blessings to you. So let's uh, say our benediction now as we finish this time of worship with this and one more song. We go forth in the name of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit to learn joyfully, for we are joyfully his. Amen. Well, I couldn't think of a better song to sing other than he's got the whole world in his hands because right now we trust that he does. He has the whole world in his hands. He's got you and me, he's got babies, he's got grandmas and grandpas, moms and dads. He has everybody in his hands because we are his, we are part of the family of God, and he is our Father who loves us. He's got the whole world in his hands, he's got the whole wide world in his hands, he's got the whole world in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands he's got the little bitty baby in his hands he's got the little bitty baby in his hands he's got the little bitty baby in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands he's got you and me brother in his hands he's got you and me brother in his hands he's got you and me brother in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands he's got you and me sister in his hands he's got you and me sister in his hands he's got you and me sister in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands he's got our moms and our dads in his hands he's got our moms and our dads in his hands he's got our moms and our dads in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands he's got the whole wide world in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands he's got the whole world in his hands would you pray with me, please? Lord, we trust that you have us held firmly, lovingly, and securely in your hands. We pray together, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May God bless your day.